up welcome back to another vlog we're gonna do another vlog this week i really enjoyed doing last week's but this week i'm going to be doing more of like a weekend vlog and not so much work because i have been working all week it's currently friday and i'm actually giving myself today off my goal on wednesday of this week was to get down to zero orders and we did it i'm so so happy it's been a really long time since i've had zero orders in my shop and i really love the feeling of not needing to get to anybody's orders because i do hate leaving orders unprocessed so i am very happy that i have no like weight on my shoulders i do have a little bit because i did get i think two or three orders yesterday so we do have some orders again to complete but I will get to those ones next week and I yeah like I said I just wanted to give myself today off and complete some things around the house bring you guys along bring you a video obviously I haven't had time at all this week to film so we're gonna be doing more of like a weekend vlog kind of getting shit done if you will so I have a huge list I'll actually put a little list here as I'm talking about all the things that I want to complete this weekend um, I have a bunch of recycling here which we're gonna get to right away because it's been bugging the heck out of me so we're gonna get to putting away some recycling I need to finish putting away all of my laundry we'll, we'll do that um, I have to put away towels because I have a load in the dryer um, I really want to organize a lot of like my skincare products and my bath care and hair care I actually went down to the guest bathroom downstairs and I have so many products down there that I forget about and I just haven't used for so long like I have so many face masks and different skincare products I have a bunch of like headbands and scrunchies and stuff down there that I just never use I also do want to clean up my office I want to tackle that because I've been very busy the last few weeks with orders and the office has gotten very very dirty so we're going to clean the office do some organization stuff and then I'm possibly wanting to do something outside I've been wanting to actually paint our garage door frame we have like a white garage door and the frame is white as well but I've seen a lot of houses recently with a white garage door and then a black frame and it looks so good so I've been wanting to do that it'll make it really nice and coordinate with our front door so I maybe will tackle that this weekend um, but yeah I think that's everything um, I will mention that I had probably the worst sleep last night and the worst pain of my life. Um, I think I mentioned before, but I've had a lot of issues with my teeth recently and pretty much all of 2021 so far, I've just been, you know, getting a lot of stuff done with my teeth. Um, there is one tooth that possibly needs a root canal, which has been pretty good recently, but she said that we're gonna take a three month break and then if I get any pain within those three months, um, that that is you know a sign that I probably need root canal and your girl has been getting some pain let me tell you so yes I'm currently not in pain right now because I've taken some Advil but guarantee once the Advil wears off I'm going to be in a lot of pain so if the pain comes back really really badly I am going to contact the dentist and hopefully they can get me in for like an emergency root canal I'm assuming that's what it is so that's fun so much fun so yes I think that's everything for the intro a lot of talking I do apologize but I wanted to kind of update you guys on what's happening um, and what I want to do this weekend and yeah let's let's get let's get this vlog started shall we cheers <laughs> Thank you. 
my closet is officially done. All of the laundry has been put away. I still have to do like towels and stuff, but we'll do that later. But I also reorganized my makeup because I needed to make room for all of the ColourPop Animal Crossing makeup. So I made a little bit of room there. I like split these up so I could put some palettes in between and it's looking good. I got rid of a few expired pieces and that is great. What I actually wanna do, I think I mentioned, I wanna take all of like the skincare stuff from our guest bathroom downstairs. And what I think I'm gonna do is take all of these like blanket scarves and stuff and put these up in one of these baskets. And then I'm going to use this drawer down here for all of the skincare, like masks and um, different things down there body products, just any products. So I have them up here so that I know that I can use them. I do need to go through and see like if all of the things down there are, you know, not expired, but anything that is not expired, we will be putting in here, which I think will be a better way to do it. And yeah, I think that is everything. I currently have my purse in here, um, but I am going to be putting up a little like hook thing um, in our entryway, which I will show you guys actually right now. I think it, here it is. So this is the little hook thing. I got it from H&M Home, and I'm thinking about putting it here, kind of like where our bench is. So people, like if we have guests, they can hang their coats here, or I can hang my purse here, we can hang Penny's leash here, stuff like that. I think that's where I want it, but I feel like it might be super random within this like super large wall, so I don't know about that. I could also put it back over here because we used to have another one here, but I could put it on this wall, like by our door. I don't know. I was also even considering like here by our new nest. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, I've been obsessed with that thing, guys. It's so fun, but I don't know. I feel like this, if like coats and stuff are hanging, it might get in the way of like walking in the hallway. I don't know, the hallway's pretty big, so don't really think things would get in the way, but I don't know. I might just like wait to hang this up until after, and if you guys want, you can comment down below where you think I should put that. Um, should I put it by the bench, in the hallway, or by the door? Let me know, it'd be greatly appreciated. Yeah. Okay, so like I told you guys. So this is voiceover Jenna. I'm not using my like fancy mic, so I apologize for the crappy audio. But for some reason, I thought I told you guys that I wanted to do this, but I totally didn't. So basically, I'm going to be organizing all the food in my cupboards. I did my fridge a little bit ago, and I'm showing you guys that right now. And then after, we're going to get into organizing the cupboards. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Don't know why I thought that I told you, but let's do it. Also just got a cell phone notification. Okay, bye. We just recently kind of reorganized our fridge. I actually moved around, like this drawer used to be up here. And what I decided to do is put the meat drawer down lower. And then I expanded this area because we were having trouble fitting some of like the wines. So I made this one a little bit taller so that we could fit different wines in there. This is where we keep like all of our um, drinks and milks and creamers and stuff like that. We have some like edible cookie dough, um, some random bubbly drink, but yeah, that is where all the drinks go. This shelf here is for all the leftovers. We have breads and bagels, eggs, that's like arugula, I think. And like I said, meats are here. All of like our yogurt cream cheese is up here. And then fruits and veggies are at the bottom, like before. I actually like went through, took everything out, made sure everything, wasn't expired. I like wiped down all of the shelves and I'm really, really happy with the way that looks. And then I went through all of like our condiments here. We have just random stuff here. We got like, um, what is this called? Broth. We got some sauces, some pickles, butter, some sun-dried tomatoes, ginger, garlic. We got all of our cheeses in here, all of like our Asian stuff. So like soy sauce fish oil, um, sesame, all of those types of things. And then like I said, all of the condiments down here. So that is that. I still do need to go through the freezer, which we can do now. And then like I said, I really wanna go through all of 
this. This is a complete disaster. I'm like not even using these anymore, so I think I might move those out. I do want to use them though because I really love the way it looks, but we just haven't gotten any like candy and nuts for a really long time, so yeah, maybe we'll just move them out for now, and then when I do get things that I can put in there, or even I could use those somewhere else, I guess. Maybe I could use them in, like, my office or something. Anyways, yes, we need to go through all this, and then we also need to go through this cupboard, which is a complete disaster. So, without further ado, let's go through all this stuff and organize one of my favorite things. Hello, Miss Penny. Penny, would you like to say hi to the vlog? How's it going? Hmm? How's it going? Are you such a good girl? Yeah? Are you licking the kitchen floor? <laughs> Funny girl. I might have a bruise on my butt now. <laughs> that hurts so bad. Ow. Don't stand on chairs, kids. <laughs> also, while I have my music off and I'm talking to you guys, I do want to let you guys know that we have kind of started the process of talking to a company about getting our kitchen remodeled. So that is so exciting. I probably will do like a full on video like talking about what I'm thinking about doing and the whole process and then the finished product I I'm very excited um I will put up some pictures of like my inspo and what I'm thinking about doing so you guys get like a little bit of an idea but I do want to keep it all for one like big video of like start to finish kitchen reno but anyways that's that's gonna be at a later date because I'm still waiting on a quote from them and if the quote's too high, then we will have to like try to figure out something else. Um, but yes, very excited. Back to cleaning and organizing. And I just realized we have a lot of food, so it's gonna be a while. Guys, I kid you not, like, 10 minutes later, after I told you guys about our kitchen, I literally just got an email from them saying that she's pretty close to getting the final like design finished up and the quote ready and that we can come in for a like meeting, I guess, at their showroom soon, um, which is very exciting, holy crap. Um, yeah, oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, we do have a pretty like strict budget and if we can't get it under that then I will probably end up just doing something myself but at the same time like I do know getting your kitchen renovated um with like good quality and like full out is a really really good investment so I don't just want to do it like half ass and just like paint the cupboards or something I don't know but yes so so while I have you guys here chatting again, I do want to kind of go over how I'm going to be organizing this. Um, before we had all our snacks in here, but I think what I want to do is I want to do healthy snacks here and then our not so healthy snacks on the bottom here along with like our breakfast food. So we have a lot of like cereals and we have like pancakes and oatmeal, stuff like that. So I want to do like breakfast and like sugary snacks over here and then like healthy snacks. Also like Francis's um, 
what is this called, protein stuff, protein powder can go there. I also was sent some really, really yummy, healthy bars that I want to show you guys once I get them in here. But um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about those. They are delicious. Definitely recommend. I will show you guys them in a second. But um, yeah, so I want to do healthy snacks. And then I think this will be the same. We will do like our side dishes. So rice, pasta, ramen, stuff like that, and then baking stuff up there. And then in here, I'll probably do like crackers and like boxed things, um, as well as canned stuff maybe at the top. I am a little bit concerned because the top shelf in this cupboard is kind of warping. So I might do the cans on the second shelf and then the lighter like boxes at the top. But yeah, this is currently what my kitchen looks like. Love that for me. Um, but yeah, let's get into looking at all the expiry dates on all this stuff and organizing it back into the cabinets. Oh my goodness. Okay, so a few hours later and all three of these cupboards are wonderfully organized, which this one now is just all glasses, which makes so much more sense than to randomly have a shelf down here that had tea and stuff. So we've got wine glasses, normal glasses, and then we have some shot glasses up there. And then I also have these guys here that I've gotten, um, I got them a while back from Good Vibes Juice Co. I used to go there all the time and get their juices. The nice thing is that they had these so they're like reusable. So I'm going to wash those and I think it'd be really cute to have like iced coffee in. So potentially be using those and I will put those back up there. Um, and then this one, this is like such a weird like sized cabinet. I just hate that it's in the corner. And if you just put things without the basket, it's just kind of all over the place. There's no like rhyme or reason to the organization or anything. So just having these three baskets makes it look so much nicer to me. Um, so I have all of our tea in here, all of our pasta, rice, ramen, um, anything like that in there, gnocchi, which I really want them that soon. <laughs> and then up there we have all of our baking supplies. And then this cupboard here is probably the one that has gone through the most. I actually switched around the shelves up there that you guys will see in a second. But like I told you guys, the bottom shelf is half our breakfast stuff and then half like health food. Also, my fridge just started making some lovely noises, so please ignore. But we also put the sugar and the flour in here. We have Francis protein. And then these were the bars that I was actually talking about before. Love Good Fats actually reached out and asked if they could send me some of their um, what are these called? Nutty bars? Chewy nutty bars? But they are so freaking good. I have tried so many different, like, 
good for you kind of bars, protein bars, stuff like that, and all of them do not taste good and I never want to eat them. So these ones were a pleasant surprise. They don't taste like a chocolate bar, like all of these influencers say about like the Alani New bars and all these different protein bars. They don't taste like a chocolate bar, but these ones, you can't taste the protein. There is eight grams of protein, which is amazing. Um, there's only one gram of sugar as well, but it tastes like a like granola bar, nutty granola bar. It is so good. It's gluten-free. It's keto friendly, there's no added um, soy, and it's plant based and all of those things. And I just think it is so, so good. I definitely recommend them. I will link them down below if you want to try them out. I saw them at Longo's when we went there um, a few days ago, which is so cool that like a company that is available at a grocery store contacted me. I love that. but. I will be becoming an affiliate with them, so if you guys do want to go and check them out, hopefully I will have a link there for you guys to go and grab them. And then up here we have two shelves that don't have much on them. This is going to be where we put our snacks. So I have some Nanaimo bars, um, I have the Starbucks thing there, as well as some popcorn. We have some crackers over here, sesame seeds, breadcrumbs, and then we have all of our canned stuff up there, as well as some random wraps that we need to finish. So. Yes, that is all of that. I'm so, so happy with the way that everything turned out. So yeah, I think that's going to be everything that I'm going to do today when it comes to organization and stuff, but it is the weekend, so I have tomorrow, I have Sunday, so we can do some more stuff. I still do want to um, clean the office, and I want to bring all of like the skincare stuff up from downstairs, and then, like I said, I also want to do some stuff outside. Um, and I think that is it. I do need to put away the towels, but I'm sure you guys don't really care to see that. Um, so I'm going to do that tonight. But yeah, like I mentioned, Love Good Fats is going to be linked down below. They said that I will have an affiliate link. I just have to email them back, but I don't know if that has like a discount code with it for you guys. But look down in the description box if you guys do find interest in them. <laughs> But yes, like I was talking about before with the Love Good Fats Chewy Nutty Bars, um, I think I will have an affiliate code with them. I don't know if that has like a discount code for you guys, but check it out down below um, if you want to get your hands on some, or they do have them at grocery stores if you want to go and check to see if your local grocery store has some, but I definitely recommend, recommend. <laughs> they have been one of my favorite snacks um, within the last few weeks, so yes. It's not good morning. It's currently two o'clock, but I've just been having a slow morning. We didn't put away the towels last night. Like I said, I was going to I put them away this morning. Um, spent a little bit of time outside with Penny and made breakfast. It's pretty much it. I called the dentist. I'm going to have an appointment on Tuesday and he rolls really been in a lot of pain today. So safe to say that I'm just going to be living off of Advil for the next few days. Um, hopefully the tooth doesn't get worse and then we can fix it on Tuesday. But I don't know if you guys can see here, but Francis' parents actually just dropped off some egg buns. Oh, they're so good. I freaking love egg buns. Specifically, the ones that are the best are the salted egg yolk buns. 
salt, egg, yolk. And then there's also egg paste buns, which are these ones. Ugh, but these ones are so good. If you guys have never had, like you get them from dim sum and they just look like this. And then they have, ugh, the most delicious yolk in the center. And it's just like so sugary and delicious. Oh no. But anyways, like I told you guys, we are going to be doing a few things today. One being that I really want to organize all my skincare stuff, so we're gonna do that right away. And then I also wanna clean up the office. We might not get to that today. Maybe I'll just do it um, on Monday, like before I start my work day, I could do that. And then I also wanna possibly paint the outside frame of our garage door, so. It's a beautiful day out, so I should probably do that today and take advantage of the beautiful day. Um, and then we're also getting some groceries tonight, so I will be kind of restocking some stuff in our cupboards since I reorganized it all yesterday, and yeah, I think that's going to be it. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go get this like skincare, body care, hair care organization started because I'm very, very excited for it. Okay, so we are now down in the guest bathroom, and like I said, I'm going to be emptying out all of these things. I pretty much just have like some random moisturizers and cleansers. We have a bunch of face masks, which I really need to start using. I love a good face mask. This one, it's a little bit hard to open it because of this door, but this one is hair stuff, so I have a bunch of like headbands and scrunchies and stuff like that. And this one is nail polish, which I'm tending to go to quite often these days. So I really want to get those out of there and somewhere I can reach them a little bit better. And then in here, it's a little bit of a disaster. But this is just a bunch of hair care and bath stuff. So we're going to grab that as well. I brought this basket down so I can just put a bunch of stuff in there. different categories so I'm going to do that quickly now and then uh, I'm going to go through each of the categories and make sure that everything is not expired. I think a lot of this stuff unfortunately will be expired but there are some things that like I feel like don't really matter if it's expired or not. I don't know. We'll see but yes let's go through. Thank you. 
gone through and this is what we're keeping we got skincare body and tanning stuff hair care i got rid of a ton the nail polish i have all of the hair stuff here and then this is the pile of stuff that i'm getting rid of most of the stuff i've had for like years and they really just need to go in the garbage so say goodbye to all those things now i have to figure out where to put all of this stuff i think i might keep some of it downstairs like the mm, like the hair dyeing stuff i might keep downstairs um some of this stuff i might keep downstairs as well but like most of it i feel like i need up here or i'm gonna forget about it again so we need to you know try to figure out something but for now i told you guys that francis and i <laughs> wanted to go to the grocery store so i look so pasty i need to get some sun not looking the best i am in a lot of pain though so i'll give myself that <laughs> he's been waiting for me to finish up so we can go to the grocery store so let's go do that i do need to make a little list first okay babe mm, we need to make a list of what we need okay let me make our list and then we're gonna head over to the grocery store but this vlog has definitely taken a turn because I have been in really, really bad pain, excruciating pain, probably the most pain that I've ever been in um, for the past few hours. Um, we did get Tylenol while we were at the grocery store, and I took that, and apparently Tylenol is not the best thing to take for um, like dental pain or tooth pain. Um, I was told that ibuprofen or Advil is a lot better, so I did walk over to Shoppers Drug Mart a few hours ago and I grabbed some Advil. I also grabbed some Aurigel, which did not work at all, but I do have an appointment on Monday. We're gonna get it fixed, and right now we're doing okay. The Advil is doing its job and keeping me you know, somewhat pain-free, but the reason why I got my camera out was to show you guys what I ended up doing with all of my products. Basically, I'm putting all of like my extra shampoo and conditioner as well as my hair like dyeing stuff. I'm gonna put that back downstairs and I think that's all that I'm putting back downstairs. And then I put some stuff in my side table and I put some stuff in a drawer. So I will show you guys that right now. So I think I mentioned that I was going to put everything in this drawer. I decided not to just because this drawer is a little bit of a weird shape. It's a little bit like rounded on the side. So I feel like products wouldn't sit nicely in there. So what I decided to do was I actually consolidated my socks in with my underwear as well as my bras. So I only have this for socks, underwear, and bras. This third drawer is all of my bathing suits. And then this last drawer is where I put all of the products. So in the front, I have all of my nail polish. We have some tanning stuff. We have some hair stuff. This is kind of like a mix of hair and skincare a little bit. We have some like body oils here. And then this is all of like my clay masks and face masks and stuff like that. And then we have this for the clay masks and then we just have some more stuff for nail and toenail care. So that is what I decided to do there just to have it all up here. And then, like I mentioned, I did add some stuff here, which in here I put all 
of my hair stuff. So we have a bunch of scrunchies and stuff like that. We have headbands. This is just like my everyday stuff, birth control. We got my AirPods, earrings, Fitbit, some lip chap, all of my different planners and books and journaling things in there. And then down at the bottom, this is where I put all of my body butters and stuff like that for my body after I get out of the shower. So that is that. And then I do have my animal spirit tarot deck, which I actually do need to do a tarot reading soon. So yes, that is everything that I ended up doing. Um, I kind of just was in a really bad mood. When I get in pain or I'm not feeling good, I kind of get a little bit bitchy. I'm not going to lie. And that's definitely what has been happening. But it is getting better now that I have some medication or some painkillers to subside the pain. But I think I'm going to call it a night here. I'm just going to honestly just lay in bed and watch YouTube videos or listen to podcasts or read or something before bed. But yeah, I will see you guys in the morning, hopefully with, you know, not as much pain. <laughs> Good morning friends, welcome to the third day of this vlog. I don't know if you can tell, but I am talking really weird. And that is because I'm like swollen all in here and it does not feel good. So welcome back to another uh, portion of this very chaotic video where Jenna has something else wrong with her. <laughs> That's so sad. Um, but yes, I had a lot of pain last night with my tooth and I've woken up today oh my god look at that shit oh my god <laughs> I've woken up today with a lot of swelling around where the tooth is and in like my jawline so I have a nice ice pack to put on my mouth and I do have an appointment tomorrow but we are actually considering calling the dentist today to see if I could get in today even though they are closed they do have like an emergency line where you can call if you have an emergency and I've been looking up I know you shouldn't look up on Google like what is wrong with you but apparently a toothache obviously I know that my tooth is infected because we do need to do root canal but if the swelling starts that is a sign that the tooth is abscessed, I think that's what it's called, and that the infection could be um, spreading, which is kind of scary. So yes, tried to call, it just went to voicemail, so I'm gonna try to call again in a half an hour um, and then leave a message. I don't know, maybe they can get me in earlier tomorrow, um, but I'm not in any pain right now because I did take some Advil, but it's just like really scary. Please let me know down in the comments if you're the type of person that just like absolutely hates things going wrong with your body and just, I'm just so always so scared about things going wrong and like getting sick or being injured, stuff like that. It's a huge fear of mine. So this is not fun. And yeah, so don't know what's gonna be happening today. Um, we were gonna go for a hike, but I don't know if we're going to anymore. And I'm really sorry that this vlog is kind of crappy and kind of all over the place, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed like the organization stuff and going grocery shopping and watching all of this madness just go crazy. So thank you for coming to my TED talk. I'm not gonna put too much uh, red pepper in today because I don't want to be too spicy for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> making our food, which is Eglio. Eglio e olio. Garlic and oil. Eglio e olio. You said garlic and oil? Mm -hmm. It's pretty much just pasta, garlic, parsley, olive oil, 
and right. lemon juice. Oh, and yeah, red pepper flakes. crushed red pepper flakes. So we're gonna eat that. I got water, I got tea, I got salted water for after, <laughs> for gargling to see if that will help my mouth, but. Hey friends, it is now Monday and I think I'm going to continue to vlog today because I am just on my way to my dentist appointment right now. Guys, this is freaking scary. Has anyone ever had this happen to them? Because I am terrified, but we got into the dentist a little bit early. Originally, I was going there at two, but they did say that I could come in now, which it is around 11.30, so I'm gonna go in. We're gonna see what the frick is happening. I know it's a tooth abscess. I just don't know why it is swelling so much, but I will update you guys when I get home. Hopefully I can talk. I don't know if they're gonna do any work or if they're just gonna give me antibiotics to get rid of the swelling, but love this for me. <laughs> okay, friends, so I am back from the dentist. I've been back for a while, but I've just been working down in my office and they didn't do anything. I still got a puffy ass cheek, but I'm just gonna cover it because I feel like I look crazy, but um, they did give me antibiotics and basically I just have to take those three times a day for the next week and then once the swelling is gone, that's when they can go in and do the root canal. So I do have to wait another, actually more than a week, but the pills or the antibiotics are for a week. Um, I have my appointment on Wednesday of next week, so a little over a week. I'm hoping that this swelling goes down and the pain stops soon because it just really sucks and it's not fun and it's like not even super painful it's just really uncomfortable and just like a lot of like pressure and it's really hard to eat obviously I can't chew at all on this side I can barely brush my teeth or floss my teeth on this side so I'm just very excited for it to be over so anyways I am really sorry that this vlog kind of went uh down the the, the pooper <laughs> It kind of just was a mess and it started out good with all of the organization, which hopefully you guys enjoyed that. But as the weekend went on, things got a little bit uh, crappy. So I apologize, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, anyways. And definitely give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Send me all the positive vibes in the comments because I need them. I'm going to have another week of this ugly face. Hopefully it starts to go down soon because look at how crazy I look and like my mouth is so weird. Oh my goodness. Um, thank God we are putting masks on everywhere we go because I would not be leaving the house. <laughs> I am now upstairs because my uh, battery died so I had to get a new one. But Francis is also doing a workout up here so it's probably very loud. But I really hate this. Thank you guys so much for joining. I love you so much. And hopefully the next time I see you, I don't look like this. Okay, bye. I love you guys so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile. Bye. You can still see me. Um, so I definitely recommend trying it out. It doesn't take very long. And these are the ingredients. We got obviously curry, which you mix with water to make like a curry paste. You have coconut milk, potatoes, green onion, green not pepper. green onion, green pepper. <laughs> onion and carrot and then obviously 